Hi, my name is Bruce. I'm an Applications Engineer here at Pacific Technical Products in Southern California. Today, I'm going to be going through a part inspection and centering application utilizing the new Parker Automation Controller and the Bomber Verisense Vision Sensor. For this demo, we of course have the new Parker Pack, an MX80 Linear Actuator, a Bomber Verisense Vision Sensor, and the Compax 3 EtherCAT Servo Drive. For a detailed tutorial on configuring the Compax 3, please visit parker.com forward slash EMN and download the Quick Start Guide. In order to wire the Bauer Vision Sensor to the PAC IO, we'll be using three of the PAC's inputs and two of its outputs. These will be used to change inspections and also determine the part's location. Once you've connected to your PC, open up the Verisense application suite. You should see a window pretty similar to this one. Select and detect the device, click connect, and then connect again to auto-configure the sensor's IP address. Now that we're logged onto the device, I'm going to walk through one of our three inspections. Configure the device, create a new job, and then we're going to adjust image parameters. For any additional details, go ahead and reference this help window. Once you have a good image, we're going to add features. In this case, it's going to be a part location based off the contours. We're going to create a teach area and then limit the search area. In this case, we're going to be making a center inspection, and then click OK. Next, we're going to configure the interface. In this case, we're setting output 1 to a center inspection. Then save the job. Once it's saved, go back, and you're going to create the next two jobs. The first one, will be a left inspection using output 2 save it and then a right inspection using output 3 once you've saved all three jobs click activate device and then you're done with the Verisense application suite. Now we can go to the Parker Automation Manager. If you've completed the Quick Start Guide, your screen should look pretty similar to this. First, we're going to delete the old tasks, and then import the new ones. Next, we're going to build the project. And then download it to the pack. Once that's complete, log into the device. And then run the program. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to email us at customerservice at ptpcorp.com.